What's up, YouTube? Back again. Uh, this one's going to be a little interesting. Um, channel's been a little struggling lately, so I'm kind of doing a couple things people requested, and uh, this, this one should be exciting. Uh, I'm going to tape the entrance, and we're going to fill this bald face hornet nest with spray foam insulation. Interesting enough. And uh, stick around, let it expand a little bit, then I'm going to uh, bag the nest up, we'll bring it home cut it open and uh, see what's up in there and uh, what it actually did to it. So uh, stay tuned. This one should be pretty exciting, I think. Alrighty, so here is our nest of the day. You can see it's a uh, very active bald face hornet nest. We got them crawling all over the nest, in and out. I don't know uh, how great this is all gonna work, but uh, oh man. You see them coming in and out. There are a ton of them. See that guy kind of watching me. We're gonna try to not alarm them too much. I'm gonna set you guys back a little bit and uh, gonna tape that entrance without getting too many of them crazy and uh, see what we can do here. I must have really startled them because they are like just swarming all over it. So I think I'm gonna dust them kind of before putting the tape on. It is pretty insane right there. Alright, so they slightly chilled down. I gave it like 30 seconds. I'm just going to sneak up with the tape. We want them all in there, right? Throw a little dust up here for the stragglers. Eee, they're all getting out. <laughs> tape did not work well. Everywhere. <laughs> coming out. Oh, you're going to ruin my gloves, great thumb. You're not too great now, are you? Ah, I had the little airlock on. I'm getting like pelted by him right now. Heck of an active nest, let me tell you. Can't get in. I mean, it's working pretty well. They are like ravishing the top of the nest. I think they're trying to dig a new way out. We're not gonna let that happen now. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So it says this stuff takes 10 to 15 minutes for it to expand. So we're gonna see how that works out. And I'm just getting pelted by these dudes. It didn't really look like a huge nest, but man, there's one hell of an active nest right there. They're just pinging off of me constantly trying to sting me here. Trying to like miss the dust as much as I can. Trying to get the wires. There are so many though. <laughs> not even a basketball sized nest. So I think just so uh, we can keep it intact, I'm just going to take the branch it's on down. And we're going to bring this whole thing home and then uh, we'll cut it all open and see what's inside. And give it a little bit, try to kill a little bit more of these guys off. So the Delta Dust, it's not really a uh, instant kill. It takes like 5-10 minutes for this stuff to normally kill them. Um, kind of messes with their nervous system and uh, they basically over exert themselves and uh, they end up dying because they use up all their energy and stuff. So uh, not a super quick kill. A lot of people watch these and they're expecting to just see them dropping from the dust and sadly that's not quite how the dust works, so. Woo! They're not letting up. I don't know how. I mean, I am wearing tennis shoes. Yeah, I always forget to wear boots. I don't know what the deal with that is, honestly. I have them. I'm just always lazy. I don't bring them. Just prefer tennis shoes. It's really hot out here, especially in the bee suit when it's like 90 out. It gets pretty brutal in this thing. So, uh, honestly, I normally wear tennis shoes just to keep a little bit cooler. Yeah, I know, guys, they don't like me much at all. day at the office guys but uh so here's our nest right here as we can see we got our foam up in here actually check that it's right over here also I'll put like maybe a couple more little spots in there just to make sure it fills up all the way but uh other than that I'd, I'd say this is a pretty good success and uh I can't wait to open this thing up and see what type of carnage it does.
it home now and uh, see what's in there. Alrighty, so today we're in the uh, wasp flare. As you see, we got a uh, large hornet nest there. Yep. Got a large hornet nest here. These are some of my uh, big ones from last season. Just massive. I don't know, everyone always says they're worth money, so I kept a few of the really big ones, but uh, so. We're here to finish this video off. Uh, as you can see, here's that nest that I uh, put the uh, spray expanding foam in the other day. And uh, like I said, we're gonna open it up. Uh, after letting it sit and completely dry, I noticed I probably should have used a lot more of the foam. Um, it is pretty hard, but uh, I feel like it's not nearly as full of foam as I was expecting it to be. So uh, if we do another expanding foam in a hornet nest, we are definitely gonna load it a lot more next time. But either way, let's open her up and uh, see what happened. If anything starts flying out in my garage, so I got a lot of chemicals I can uh, spray up in here on them. Hoping that uh, everything is dead. Got quite a few dead ones right there. Yeah, they're all totally dead. It is pretty uh, solid up here, though. So, I don't know. We're gonna start peeling away the layers. Ah, oh, geez, look at how many there were in there. I do remember this one, we didn't really spray a whole lot. We just started filling it. So I'm assuming there are gonna be quite a few casualties in there as you're seeing. It is just totally filled with wasp. Let's try to take some of these dudes out. I didn't wanna put my gloves on for this and uh, the dead ones can still sting you if you touch their stingers. So I'll be a little cautious opening it up, but shouldn't be anything too crazy to worry about here. It's looking like everything's dead. We are getting quite a bit of them down there. As you can see, get you out, get you out, buddy. But you can see the spray foam did not really get too far in. I mean, it blasted the holes. It obviously uh, kept everything from getting out, which is odd, because I swear I've uh, treated nests where they've dug a hole when I've been treating the entrance before. So it's kind of uh, awkward seeing that uh, just filling one or two entryways and they pretty much succumbed. fly checking it out. It's kind of cool how the uh, foam went through. Mm. Almost knocked you down. Foam kind of came through each layer a little bit. It's kind of cool. Lots of dead ones though. Kind of interesting. Like I thought it would just kind of form one big ball. I didn't really think it would smush out in little layers like that, but definitely interesting. I'm not seeing any movement from any of them, so I think we are all safe here. Thank God, because my, my bee suit's actually in my truck. It's not even in the garage, so I could have been a little wild. No, 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 no. Ah. You almost 
just got out there, guy. You were so close to the exit, but you just didn't make it. Now, this whole top part's real hard, but I mean, they really make them thick up top, so I don't know if that's really much to do with the spray. I know, yeah, there's a lot of foam up in there. So, yeah. All right, for sake of not making this too long, I'm gonna give you guys a little pause and I'm gonna try to rip as much of this off as I can and we're gonna see uh, what the foam left over. All righty, so I'm back and uh, I don't know, I got it off about as much of uh, stuff as I could. Like this is just kinda in it. I would rip all the foam to get it off of it. But uh, as you can see, like the layers that the uh, spray foam just the way it entered the nest was so interesting because the individual layers were strong enough to keep it from sealing. You could see on the entry point there, quite a few of them were actually dead inside the foam. Definitely uh, encased a bunch and killed them. But it's just so cool, each layer, it would push through the layers and just slowly come out. Let's see if we can just rip this whole little chunk out there. So cool though, how it filled on its way in. Not really what I expected out of it, but uh, definitely cool. And uh, as always, if you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure to uh, like and subscribe down here. That greatly helps in uh, giving me time and availability to make more content. So uh, catch you guys on the next one and uh, hope you enjoy.